Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about a canonical LR of 1 table construction. In our previous classes, we already discussed about LR of 1 item construction. This is a continuation class for the same example which we discussed previously. We will construct the canonical LR of 1 table construction. Please watch our previous class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So, before going into the table construction, let's refresh our example for a minute. These are the productions. For each production, we have given a number. First production is S tends to C, C, C tends to small c, capital C, C tends to D. These are the list of productions. Each production will be assigned a number. And these are the item generations. So we have constructed this uh, states in our previous class. Total 10 states are there. Each state is taken and we have to write the table. We have to construct the table for that. This is very much similar to the uh, SLR1 and uh, SLR of 1 table construction, LR of 0 table construction, same, similar. No, there is no change. But uh, once again, we have to construct it for uh, LR of, uh, canonical LR of 1. So let's try to understand uh, step by step how we construct that. So total 10 states are there. States has been written 0 to 9. And on the column side, we are taking two actions, go to and action. So what is go to and what is action? Let's try to understand for the first production. See, on the i0, 0th, uh, 0th state, if dot is present before yes means non-terminal we have taken some action go to means we have done some transition so if there is a transition on non-terminal we are moving to i1 state that should be written in go to in our table see on 0th state by looking at capital S means non-terminal, we are moving to first state. That is what go to means. Transition on non-terminals will be shown. Similarly, similarly in our example, if you if you move on, if your transition on capital C, capital C, we are moving to I2 state. So if the transition on a non -ter if the transition is on terminal we need to do some action here we need to do two actions either you can do shift action or you can do reduce action which action we have to consider here c tends to dot small c capital c dot is present before at the beginning if dot is present at the middle or beginning we will do shift action if dot is present at the end of the production we will do reduce action so here dot is present at the beginning so we need to do shift action shift to third state so uh, if you do if you take the small uh, small d means terminal d we are shifting to we are moving to fourth state so here dot is present before uh, d that's why we we are doing shift action in the table shift to third state if you see small c if you do, see capital small d we are doing shift to fourth state this is what uh, we have to do if you are having non-terminal write it in the go to statement go to in uh, construct the go to columns go to blocks if you are having a uh, terminal symbols based on the dot you have to check the action if you want to take shift action or you want to do reduce action so zero th item has been finished like that we have to construct for all the items on item s dash tends to s dot dot is present after but this is a special case this is not the production in our grammar we added this if you see on the i1 state if you see dollar means we are accepting it we are accepting the input on one state if you take see the dollar symbol accept it now coming to the second state if you see capital c we are moving to fifth state means this should be written in go to if you see small c we are moving to i6 state and dot is present before c so shift 6 dot is present before d so shift 7 if you see small d this is how we write the productions for i2 shift to 6 if you see c shift to 7 if you see d action is go to is if you see c going to fifth fifth state similarly we will write for i3 state 
this is also not completed state so we do shift actions if you see capital c we are moving to i8 state this should be written in go to because it is capital c is non terminal if you see terminal symbols c we stay on the same state d if we are going to fourth state shift to third state shift to shift to third state shift to fourth state so i3 action is shift to third state if you see c shift to fourth state if you see d and go to if you see capital c we are going to eighth state similarly we have to write for i4 state c tends to d dot so here d dot dot is present after completion of the production means we have to do reduce action so c tends to d which number it is third number we have to do reduce to third production where we need to reduce this is the point you have to understand we have to do reduce action only at the look ahead symbols means after completion of this production we are going to look the look ahead symbol c or d in that places we have to write the reduce action so reduce to third state third production reduce to third production on look ahead symbols only write it in look ahead symbols similarly we have to write for i5 state i5 is a completed state s tends to cc this is the first production so it is completed dot is present after cc so it is reduced to first first production for which look ahead symbols only a dollar we have to write the answer only at dollar we are writing reduce to first state similarly we have to write for i6 state if you if you see the capital c we are moving to i9 state if you see small c we are staying on the same state if you see small d we are moving to i7 state so shift to 6 shift to 7 and going to 3 uh, going to 9 similarly we have to do for 7 8 9 all are completed states we are doing the reduce action based on the production see this is c tends to c, uh, small c capital c this is completed i8 uh, which production it is reduced to 2 which symbols we have to write uh, c or d for the c or d we have to write a uh, reduce action uh, this is how we construct the uh, canonical clr of one table hope you understand the concept in our next class we are going to discuss about uh, lalr of one parsing table hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you